Hi, in this video, we will have a look at SharePoint multi-choice columns. So here is my multi-choice column called sports. As you can see here, I have selected two values here. And in the second row, I have selected only one value here. So the plan is retrieve, this retrieve these rows and convert that into a HTML table. Okay. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm using a manual trigger. The next step, I'm going to use the SharePoint connector called get items. So my list name is called students. Okay, the next step, I'm going to use create HTML table. So usually, you know, we can get the values in the HTML format and send an email. Um, so here, I'm going to use the value. Then here, I'm going to use instead of automatic, I'm going to use a custom value. And I'm going to use sports. And in the expression item not there under the expression that there we go and we need to put a name here demo choice values let's save that Okay, let's test this flow and see what's the result we are going to get. Okay, see, remember you can pull all the other values also, ID, full name. I'm, I'm just using only one column here. Okay, so you can see here the value I got is in this format. So which is not ideal because it's a multi-select choice column. That's the reason I'm getting in that format. It's an object with an array. I can see the value here. See rugby, badminton, then cricket. That's for my second row. The first row I have got two values, rugby and badminton. Here it is. Yeah. So how do we get without looping? Of course, we can get this value in a loop. Then you know, push that into an array to append the values. Then finally, we can get the values back into create HTML. But that takes lots of steps. So I'll show you this in one step actually. So what we need is, let's keep it that now there. I'm going to add another one again called sports. And I'm using another expression here, which I need to use. So that's the expression I'm going to use now that is this. So I'll explain that in a minute, what I did here. So I'm converting that into a, into an uh, XML format. So let me take it in the notepad, show you what I did there. So that's what I did. So I did uh, convert that into a JSON format and concatenate with body and values in a specific format I want. Then my item sports, yeah. So what that does is, is converts that into a JSON format and the JSON format will, will be converted into XML. So why we need XML? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, let's run this and see the result what we are going to get. Here it is, that's the second one. So you can see that's converted into um, into a, into an XML uh, value now, see that? ID to ID value, all that, yeah? Um, remember the body and the value tags there? That's because we have this here. Uh, that is, see, body value and that is opening uh, the left bracket and is closing the bracket here. Remember using the concat, we are converting that into a JSON object. 
and so basically what we're doing there is we're converting into something like this see that then here the you know the other object which we seen earlier the the item sports uh, object yeah that's what we are seeing there so basically we are converting that into an xml so why because then i can use the xpath expression just after that so i'm going to add another sports here In the expression i'm going to use the xpath now so what's the xpath looks like i'll show you that in a minute so that's the xml then what i did is i'm saying in that i want to use the x path of that body and the value and the value slash text so see that we put body and the value that is this slash body slash value then value and the text which is coming from this object okay so let me run this and show you this here it is so that's the last one here see so that's xpath so what xpath did, did is i it given me the body and the value there see see that that's what it did yeah and remember the initially we have got the initial one we got here We copy this that's what we got is it so remember see that id and we got the value here so that's the value you're specific here give me the value of the text that is rugby yeah so that's the technique we need to use for the x path and finally what we could do is because it's more than one value what we could do then here is we could go and say here sports and then use the join expression then so and in the join expression, we'll show you how the join expression looks like. That's what that's that's what it looks like. So this I what are the value we are getting here? That is this comma, then join with a comma. That's what I want. So I want a comma with some you know comma like my values need to be separated with comma. That's what that means. The join does. Yeah, it extracts the values and combines it together. So that's join then go back here and click on the save and test <clears throat> see see that that's that's the value we got so the previous xpath expression we got that rugby and badminton as an array that's what the xpath expression did then i think i shown earlier the this one here that was the second one i misunderstood that sorry so this is the value which is coming from the x path then this is the final value from the join one yeah so i just want to show you in a different format of the values how we're getting it the first one which you're seeing here so let me copy everything and let's see whether i can copy everything okay copy that kind of okay i think is it yeah um yeah that's the x path this is coming from the join the last expression we had then body and the value coming from that xml one converting it and this is the object here we go so if you look the expressions now um, let me edit it see that here the first item that's the item it is then xml1 converting that you know into an xml format that's the expression we used let me copy that there so that's what that looks like there we go yeah and then the xpath one that's the xpath expression looks like 
and that gives you an array of the value rugby comma badminton then finally using the join technique we can remove the array and you know put that in the separator we want and my separator was comma space and you can see there's a comma space between those values here and this one is the item sports that's object which is sharepoint returns as default so hope this is clear now yeah now you know i can i could remove all this all i want is now is remove that all that that's it and then i could use uh, you know id if i want id i could say id and expression item question mark id that's it there we go and then click and test hopefully we should be able to get the id and the sports okay let's see the results see id and rugby badminton and cricket so without you know iterating that array because remember this this is an array this item sports is an array so if, it, if you don't want to iterate that you can use the join xpath and the xml expression together to get the values i know it looks a little bit complicated at the initial stage but once you know you know uh, what it is that's the reason i split everything into each and every lines what's happening earlier then it's much more easier to understand thank you for watching